Josh, what has the, the process been like for you guys as a team when you've been without Carl, now without Wiggins, with the sickness, just in trying to find a rhythm and trying to make up for some of that scoring? Um, it's just next man up. Um, when guys like Wiggs and um, KR aren't playing, it's just an opportunity for somebody else. How difficult has that been? Um, I mean, they're both, definitely both prolific scorers, but um, you know, as players and team, as a, as a team, we trust in our um, offense, we trust in our system, and you know, we trust that our system is going to pull us through. Josh, you ever been in a shooting slump like this before? Um, I don't even realize what's going on. I just give every game the same kind of process and the same kind of preparation. Do you feel like you've just been a little bit unlucky? I mean, some of those shots at the rim have kind of gone in and out. Yeah, you make some, you miss some. Josh, for you guys, uh, it's been a while since you won at home. Is that something that, that weighs on, on you guys, or, or kind of how do you go about it? I mean, personally, every day is a new day. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I know that we haven't been winning at home, but, you know, I get mad when we lose at home, but then I wake up the next day and, you know, you can't do nothing about it. So all you can do is try to win the next one. Josh, are you seeing strides defensively as a group these last few games? It seems like yeah. the numbers on that yeah. side. Yeah, our hard. defense right now is you know, keeping us in games. Uh, now we just got to go out there and just finish around the hoop and, you know, make some threes or something. What have you noticed on that side of the floor that's that's clicking for you guys? It's communication and um, just, you know, being around and watching film, we know what our standards are and we're becoming more and more disciplined as a defensive team. You are the kind of player who's always really thrived on instinct and, I mean, on defense being able to kind of break <laughs> system to make a play. This is a bunch more de disciplined system than last year. Has it taken you a while to kind of get into the habits of the system rather than not really breaking. I mean I, I break away play sometimes but it's always calculated risk I don't um, I'm playing the same defense I'm not doing anything different so I don't really see a change you think it's pretty much the same as what you yeah last year? I feel like it is when you guys get as many steals as you did the other night does that kind of become contagious as a unit for sure for sure I mean we stuck to the game plan defensively and um, you know it just shows that it just shows us um, our potential that we have defensively, but now we just got to have that expectation for ourselves, you know, every night. Not saying we're going to force every team to 29 or 30 turnovers, how many ever Cleveland had the other night, but, you know, for the most part, we should be able to, you know, play that type of defense every night. And Josh, do you want to make sure you maximize when you get those steals to convert those? Yeah, into that's fast the biggest thing. Um, I think like, we had that 29 turnovers. We didn't have as many um, transition points that we may have wanted. So I think that's the next step after we get the steal or turnover, we're trying to train. Um, Turn them over in the buckets. I think you guys, t out of the 29 turnovers, I believe seven of them, you guys turned it right back over. So is that a focus thing? Is that trying to be too rushed to make a play? I mean, probably just too, sometimes we're too unselfish with the ball at times where, you know, we can just lay it up, but we want to make the extra pass where it's like, you know, it's kind of ineffective. So we just got to make better decisions um, when we, I guess, get the steal. Um, kind of watching what guys like Keelan, Jordan, Jalen, they seem to be coming back and forth between here and Iowa. Mm -hmm. Some nights they're playing three games and, and three nights is kind of how impressive is that and, and the contributions that they've made. It's just the a grind and it's just a testament to how hard they work. Um, you know, obviously they all love the game, you know, and the amount of energy that they're able to come in here and just, you know, output is incredible. You know, I've seen Keelan, you know, just go hard and like he, he just went hard and shoot around like it's a real game, you know, just to see that and knowing he just played three, three games in uh in three nights, um, it's just impressive. Josh, defensively, someone in your position seems to be tied to like the big and you guys working together. Is it how, how different is it if that's Carl versus Noah versus Gorgie or Jordan? I mean, or each uh, thing with defense, you got to understand, you know, your um, your what you're good at, what you're what you're, what you're not good at. Um, a guy like, you know, Jay Bell, you know, he's he's a smaller, big, but he's very quick, so he can be up on a ball screen. Like guy like Cat, who's a rim protector, G, who's a rim protector, you know, they can be kind of, you know, a little further back protect the rim. And guy like Noah, who's, you know, kind of big, but kind of small, it's kind of weird. But uh, he, uh, he can uh, kind of play up and also play back and kind of be in, yeah, in between guys. So it's just different. And you, it's like you knowing your personnel, you knowing, okay, if Cat or G is um, in the game, let me be extra, you know, aggressive and force him to the rim to the to the um, shot blocker, or if um, Jay Bell's in a in a pick and roll, oh, I can kind of try to get over the screen and take my time because Jay Bell's going to be there, and then Noah's like you just you know pick and choose you pick and choose your spots. One of the things that you have with Carl, especially earlier in the season, is he feeds you a lot because he draws the double and triple teams. Do you think 
you're missing that with him out? I mean, those cuts aren't as wide open as they were before. And um, I mean, not necessarily because we're not really posting up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't really post up. Our offense is not even, you know, really meant for post ups. Mm -hmm. But you know, when Cat gets in game, Cat's gonna have his post ups. So then I can kind of, you know, get that, get those cuts. But you know, I know where the points are coming from because you know, obviously, we run offense every day, and it's not really a lot of post ups. So it's kind of the same thing. So if the cuts are more um, when you get them at all. They're either in scramble situations or um, exactly, from the perimeter. Um, cuts are mo most likely from the drives or um, when Cat's posting up and he forces a double team. Yeah.